What is going on YouTube? This is Jim, back with another quick video, and today we're taking a look at the Days of Play, which includes a limited edition PlayStation 4 and a slew of deals. This is all in preparation and anticipation of PlayStation's E3 2018 keynotes that's going to be Monday night. So to kick things off, they have 11 Days of Deals with this PlayStation. That's what I want to talk to you guys about today and that's really what the video is about. There are sales going on. I'll post a link to this blog post below. There's some other games that are on sale you may be interested in but I'm primarily focusing on this specific console. This is the Plays Days of Play limited edition PlayStation 4 system for $299. It's available on June 8th. This includes the official blue Days of Play color, a one terabyte hard drive, and the controller. Now, unfortunately, this isn't a pro, which is a little frustrating for a lot of people who are just getting into the PlayStation life cycle. It's been really apparent to me, at least, over the last few games that have come out, that if you do not have a PlayStation 4 Pro, you are missing out on the definitive experience. I'm playing through God of War right now with my wife, and I can attest that the Pro version looks phenomenal. But anyways, let's take a look at what this is. This is actually a really beautiful console, in my opinion, and I think it's because it's so simple in its nature. You get a really nice, vibrant blue color, which is something, if you look back at a lot of the other Collector Edition PlayStations, blue is not a color they tend to gravitate towards. There are a lot of grays. There are a lot of blacks. Um, there to think the Monster Hunter was a crimson color, Batman was gray, Metal Gear was the red of Snake's arm. You really don't see this color. This is a very vibrant color and I think what makes this so nice is just a very sleek, clean design. You'll notice that the console has the four infamous sacred symbols on the front of it. So you have your square, your triangle, your circle, and your cross button, not X. And it looks like there are all a bunch of little sacred symbols kind of like around it. Um, let's see if this picture shows it maybe a little better. Uh, not really, a little bit. You could see there's other little symbols kind of sprinkled around and it just kind of has the really nice simple look to it. There's nothing else on the front or the sides. That's it and I really do appreciate that. You know, somebody who collects a lot of things, who likes collector editions, I don't mind busy designs. Uh, case in point, I love the Destiny Taken King PlayStation Arctic White uh, variant that my wife bought me uh, a couple years ago. That one is very, very busy. There are a lot of golds and a lot of silvers kind of scattering the whole face of the console, but it's done in a very elegant way. Unfortunately, a lot of consoles seem to go overboard with their design and with their uh, art interpretation, and it just gets busy and ugly. This, I think, is something that's very clean, and for that, I like it. I would personally take it one step further, though, and I would have loved to see this console without these pepperings of the smaller sacred symbols behind the big ones. I think just leave the four, put nothing else behind it, let that speak for itself. It's something that is definitely more vibrant, in my opinion. I'm not saying that this ruins a design by any stretch of the imagination. I'm just saying that I think it would have popped a little bit more. And then let's go ahead and take a look at the controller that comes with it. Pretty standard a DualShock 4 controller with the big exception here of the infamous sacred symbols appearing on the um, touchpad, which pop out in gold. Um, that's something that's kind of nice. Even on this picture here that's even a little bit farther out from a distance, these are very, very, very pronounced. You know, you look at PlayStation experimenting with different things to do with the touchpad screen. You look at the Star Wars controller, for example, that has the word Star Wars written very, very, very light font across here. You have to kind of look at it. It's almost like a watermark you would expect to see on a driver's license, for example. But this, this really pops from a distance, and I think it looks very, very nice. It's something that I hope to see in future PlayStation 4 Collector Edition controllers, that they take the time and effort to design some really cool touchpad art, but then inject it with a very vibrant color that pops out against the controller. And that, at range, will definitely stick out. Um, I'm not sure if it comes with the vertical stand. They love to pose these pictures with vertical stands, but typically they don't include them. I'm not entirely sure, but you can pick this up right now for 299 US on June 8th. As I mentioned, it is the only, it is just a regular PlayStation. It is not the Pro. It does come with the nicer size terabyte hard drive. 
and um, I think it's something you guys would be really happy with. So if you don't have a PlayStation and you're looking to get into the market, this is a heck of a deal for a really pretty console. Uh, there's a nice view of the front. Uh, that's all I have to say about this one. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Get out there and collect your very own PlayStation exclusive consoles. And until next time, I will see you guys on the other side.